Hi, I'm Lucy from So Essential and I'm here today to share the latest Liberty pattern range with you. So everything I talk about is available on our lovely website and you'll find links to our website and all the products I mentioned below. And if you like what you see today, please like and subscribe because every Friday I bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness. If you can't wait a whole week, do jump on and check out our other social media accounts. We're in all the usual places and I've linked those below as well. So let's get started with the patterns. It's a small and beautifully formed collection of five patterns which are hot off the press from Liberty. And then I've picked out some gorgeous dressmaking fabrics to give you a bit of inspiration for what you could use to make them with. As I said, everything's linked below. So if you like what you see, just check out the links below and you'll be able to find everything I talk you through. So the first pattern is the Zaidi boiler suit, which comes in sizes six to 22. A six is a 30 inch bust, 22.8 inch waist and 32.6 inch hip. The funny inches is because the patterns are actually in centimeters, the sizes are, so I've converted them. Um, a 22 is a 44 bust, 37 waist and 46 hip. So yeah, the measurements and the charts you'll see on the website will be in centimetres, but I've just converted them for you because I usually tell you the measurements in inches. Um, but yeah, this Zadie boiler suit looks like a great pattern. I keep saying I see so many lovely uh, boiler suits sewn up on Instagram and just keep thinking, I really think I'd get a lot of wear of one of these. I could really do with one in my wardrobe. Um, this one you can make a play suit or boiler suit option. So your play suit has got short sleeves and short trousers. And then your boiler suit option has got long sleeves and long trousers, either a straight leg or a straight leg that's gathered into a cuff at the ankle. Um, it's a button down front. There's a yoke across the back. There's an option for a collar or with no collar, just a sort of crew, crew neck. Um, and patch pockets on the back and also the option to put those on the front as well. Um, there's also po uh, patch pockets on the front as an option or just a pocket like I've got on this dress that I'm wearing today, um, which is McCall's 8139, just in case anyone's interested, I'll try and remember to link that below. Um, but yeah, and then there's a belt as well that comes with it. And on the packet, uh, the belt looks lovely and wide and chunky, really modern, and just really cinches in the waist and sets the whole look off beautifully. Um, so yeah, I really like the look of this pattern. All of these patterns can be made up in things like cotton lawn, um, crepe de chine, twill, linen, denim. The details are all on the individual patterns, but they're all quite similar in terms of the types of fabric that are required. So I thought the fabric they chose on the pattern packet was beautiful. I think the styling's always really good on these Liberty patterns. Um, and I sort of took a bit of inspiration from that and chose this chambray fabric, which has got this beautiful, colorful print on it with butterflies and flowers and I thought actually that would look great sewn up into that boiler suit or if you wanted to make the short sleeve version for summer I think it's something that I would definitely wear a lot that short sleeve version probably um, on holiday and just at weekends and stuff just nice and easy to wear if you're not into the colorful print on that one though we've also got this other really lovely chambray fabric which is a lot more subtle it's just got this subtle little white floral print on it and that would work really well as well um, and then also if you just don't like prints we've got some lovely cotton twills and linens and denims on the website so you could check those out and make yourself a plain version the next pattern I want to share is the Natasha tiered dress I'm a bit obsessed with tiered dresses myself I've got I've made two, I'm on my third one that I'm currently making at the moment as well. And yeah, I've just, I can't get enough of them basically. I just think they're so lovely. They're fun to make. I love doing the gathering stitches and sewing the different tiers together. Um, they're lovely and easy to wear. And I think the sort of gathered tiers just give dresses and skirts a more casual everyday feel as well. So you don't feel overdressed in them. They're nice and easy to wear, especially in the summer. Um, but I wore mine in the winter as well. I made a winter version as well. I just love a tiered skirt. I think they're great um, and nice and easy to fit as well. 
So this one runs in six to 22 as well, the same as the previous pattern. Um, you've got the option for a simple t-shirt bodice and short sleeve, round neck, and it fastens with a keyhole opening at the back. And there's an option for a skirt with what looks like a box pleat on it. And I'd say that looks like probably about a knee length skirt. Then you've got an option for a plain t-shirt bodice with a short sleeve and a little flounce ruffle um, cuff and then the box pleat skirt again. And then there's options for what looks like a longer skirt, a sleeveless plain bodice and a two tiered skirt. And then there's also an option for a t-shirt style bodice with a flounce um, cuff again and a two-tiered skirt with that one. And I really like this pattern because um, this is very much like the sort of thing that I made, but I had to draft it myself because I couldn't find anywhere a simple t-shirt bodice with a tiered skirt. And I think it's just a nice, easy to wear everyday dress. Um, so I had to use like the pattern from a Vogue pattern for the bodice, and then I created my own tiered skirt, but no need to do that with this Liberty pattern. It's all in there for you and the fabric I chose for this one is one that's hot off the website this week it's a gorgeous John Caldor Lizano cotton fabric I love the Lizano cottons they've got such a silky soft handle to them um, it's got this lovely print a sort of very dark navy background with a multicolored floral print on it you can see the drape and movement in that beautiful quality um, and that would just sew it really well into all those ruffles and gathers I think that would work beautifully so that's my second pattern the next one I wanted to share with you is the Rosanna ruffle top um, so again this one runs in 6 to 22 so the same sizes as I quoted to you previously um, there's a few different options with this one as well that's what I really like about these Liberty patterns there's always a good few options so it's got a round neck and then it's got a V at the front and there's the option to have a ruffle flounce round the V there's an option for a straight blouse or one that's cinched in at the waist with elastic there's the option for long sleeves with a deep cuff um, or there's the option for sleeves with, that are cinched in with elastic and got a bit of a flouncy ruffled cuff um, and then there's also the option for the straight blouse but with the flounce ruffle on the bottom of that as well and then there's also an option for the chevron v effect minus the flounce so if you're not into too many ruffles you just want like one on the cuff perhaps or the hem but you don't want the one around your neck that option's there as well um, I just think it'd be a really good everyday blouse I think I'd wear this loads in the spring and the autumn um, you could make a short sleeve version for summer as well but personally I just always find I just can't have enough pretty blouses in my wardrobe I've never got enough I always want more I'm always trying to make more um, because I just think that's just so easy to wear and the fabric I chose for this one is a lovely a viscose chalet lawn um, which is this gorgeous cornflower blue colour which I just think is really pretty and it's got these little daisies on it and the pattern's a bit more spread out than some of the Liberty lawns that are very very ditzy and I quite liked that because of the ruffle around the neck of the blouse I thought it'd be nice to have a print that's a little bit um, more sporadic um, and I just love this cornflower blue colour which has been super super popular this year and the fact that the fabric's a lovely lightweight drapey viscose means it would work really well for all the ruffles and things included in that pattern so that's my choice for that one the next pattern is the Megan maxi skirt so again appealing to my love of tiers it's a tiered skirt this one runs in sizes 6 to an 18 so an 18 is a 32 waist and a 42 hip um, it's an elasticated waist and then you've got options for um, one tier so you've got like a wide panel at the top of the skirt and then a sort of flared maxi length skirt and maxi skirts are like totally in this year everyone's going wild for the maxi skirts every vogue fashion report that pops up on my phone it's about maxi skirts um for summer and i love them because again super easy to wear you know i mean just in the summer i just think i don't want to wear trousers i hardly ever wear them in the summer because i wear them 
them all winter long. It's always cold in England. So I like to make the most of wearing skirts and dresses in summer. So when there's nice casual styles like this that you can wear every day and, you know, I can go and pick the kids up from school or come to work or, you know, do the very unglamorous things that I tend to be doing day to day. Um, but I can, skirts and dresses that I can wear to do those things. Well, that is just great. Um, so that's the first option. The second option is for three tiers. Again, a maxi length. Um, the third option is for three tiers as well. And I think you've got options here for having the gathers on the outside um, of the skirt or on the inside, if you know what I mean. So sometimes you can finish the edge of your gathered um, edge and have that exposed on the outside of the dress. I did that with the indigo pattern by Tilly and the Buttons. It's a really nice finish and extra level of prettiness, I suppose. Um, and then there is a version for what looks like it'd probably be about a knee length version as well, just with two tiers. Um, so a very easy sew, just nice and easy to wear. Um, and yeah, again, would sew it really well in any range of sort of cotton, um, visco, chambray, fabrics, that sort of thing. So the fabric I chose was this really pretty floral print fabric that we've just had in recently. It's a cotton lawn. It's got these beautiful bold colours, purples, greens, yellows, and you can just pair that with a simple white t-shirt and a pair of pumps or sandals. And I think that would be a really lovely, pretty summer skirt to have in your wardrobe. And then finally, um, we come on to the Como collar shirt, which is a unisex shirt. So there's options for a man and woman in here. This runs from sizes extra small to extra large. So the women's extra small um, is a size 10 and it runs up to an 18. So I've run through the size charts with you previously. Um, just to clarify, actually the 18, is oh yeah i did give you that it was a 32 waist 42 hip it's a 40 bust um so that's the 18 on that one um for the men the extra small is a 30 chest 31 hip and the extra large is a 48 chest 49 hip um so this is just a nice classic shirt pattern um short sleeved patch pockets button down front a shoulder yoke and a yoke across the back um, with what looks like a pleat in the back. Um, it's got a notched collar, uh, op options for patch pockets on the front. And then the women's version's got bust darts for a bit of shaping. Um, same features as the man's in, in every other respect. But then you've also got the option for a sleeveless version for the women's shirt as well. So just a very classic, simple shirt pattern. And I think there's lots of different things you could do with this. You could make, I would be tempted to make a sleeveless version in one of the pretty cotton lawns that I've shown you. We've got loads of others on the site this week as well. So do jump on and check those out if you don't like like what I've picked there's quite a few new designs that have gone on this week but yeah I'd be tempted to go for the sleeveless version or you could do it in like a nice stripe as well we've got a lovely lemon and white stripe fabric that you could use um, or the other idea I had I've seen this so much this summer is people making a shirt in linen so and then just wearing that over like a dress or a vest top um, just open as like a cover up really and then that would be really useful for not just everyday wear but like on holidays and things having that little cover up for the beach sometimes over a swimming costume just putting a shirt on to go to the bar or um, go to the loo or whatever um, so I chose one of our plain cotton linen mixes for that idea in this beautiful cornflower blue colour um, it's pretty much that Pantone colour of this, the season or the year that I showed you before which is periwinkle um, which we've got in our seven berry cotton twill it's very very similar hue and shade to that and that has been hugely popular this year but I could just see that over a white dress or white vest top um, and denim shorts and I think it'd be a really lovely casual look but just something a bit different so I hope you've enjoyed that today as I said at the start of the video everything I mentioned is on our website you can find links to our website and all the products below and if you like what you see today please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time